2009 sees the 30th anniversary of the birth of Trace Elliott. This short film has been made to celebrate that milestone and also to highlight some of the unique features of the brand. Chelmsford, birthplace of radio, the cradle of the electronics industry, county town and geographical heart of the British county of Essex, the spiritual home of Trace Elliott and the centre of brand product design. Trace Elliott and Trace Acoustic amplifiers are unlike any other amplifiers available. Therefore, their construction is also unlike any other amplifier available. This short film will reveal some of the secrets behind this most revered brand. The creation of each new Trace Elliott amplifier begins with the mining of its power source, Groovilium. This substance is a residual byproduct of British nuclear testing from the 1950s. Groovilium is mined locally at a top secret military facility and is so called because of its inherent musical pulse. One implication of this is that it has to be transported underground because it's so incredibly loud. Another unique aspect of Trace Elliott amplification is their method of calibrating watts. Whereas most manufacturers calibrate their watts linearly, Trace Elliott watts are calibrated exponentially. As this diagram shows, beyond the cusp of exponentiality, Trace Elliott amps become progressively louder than their linearly calibrated counterparts. However, this has to be carefully controlled to avoid reaching the apex of exponentiality which is the sonic equivalent of the event horizon of a black hole. Beyond this, nothing escapes. Before calibration, the watts are grown locally on special farms. We spoke to Mr. Green, whose family have been farming watts for hundreds of years. Mr. Green, can you predict when the cusp of exponentiality will occur for this particular crop? What? Now we will look in more detail at some of the unique user features. The 12-band bass amp range incorporates thermionic valve, also known as tube, technology. This enables the user to dial in variable amounts of harmonic warmth or overdrive, therefore making the tone progressively dirtier. This can color the sound and the mood from demurely subtle to wantonly filthy. However, in addition to making the tone dirtier, this can also stimulate a similar reaction to other recipients in close proximity. All Trace Elliott and Trace Acoustic amps feature specially designed onboard compression. We experimented with various compression curves and found that hard knee compression was abrupt and unmusical, whereas soft knee compression had a far smoother and more pleasing effect. Our experiments with Cockney compression were inconclusive. A unique feature of Trace Acoustic Amps is a special circuit configuration called Dynamic Correction. This enhances the upper frequencies of acoustic instruments, adding zing and sparkle, making even old strings sound like new. The Trace Acoustic Amps also feature digital signal processing, which not only includes various modulation and delay effects, but also a uniquely derived reverb. This reverb has been captured from the world-famous bell end of the Prince Albert Hall. The combined weight of all these features would normally result in a product weighing several tons. However, during cabinet construction, a special anti-gravity is added, making the amp surprisingly lightweight. The final stage of cabinet production includes mounting the custom-designed speakers and high-frequency horn. That's the speakers done. Has anyone got the horn? Oh, I have. Prior to adoption by its new owner, each new Trace Elliott amplifier undergoes rigorous final testing. Due to the extreme levels of power available, this can be a very powerful and moving experience, affecting the brain's temporal cortex, hence the mandatory issue of crash helmets. Keep it to a sensible level. You're not supposed to blow the bloody doors off. 
The finished products are then put to use on stages and in studios all over the known world, as well as some places we don't yet know. Trace Elliott and Trace Acoustic, the original specialists in bass and acoustic amplifier innovation.